Hey everyone, Linus here. Today we're diving into the exciting world of ethical hacking. We're going to turn your ordinary Android phone into a powerful hacking tool using Kaylee Linux. Don't worry, you don't need to be a tech whiz to follow along. We'll walk you through every step of the way. Ethical hacking is like being a digital detective. You're using your skills to find weaknesses in systems and networks. But instead of exploiting them for malicious purposes, you're reporting those vulnerabilities so they can be fixed. It's a crucial part of cybersecurity, and it's a lot of fun. Now you might be wondering, Linus, why would I want to learn ethical hacking? Well, aside from the cool factor, it's a highly sought-after skill in today's job market. Plus, understanding how hackers operate can help you better protect your own devices and data. So, are you ready to unleash your inner hacker? Let's get started. Before we dive into the how-to, let's talk about the star of the show, Kali Linux. What is it? Simply put, it's a special operating system designed specifically for cybersecurity professionals and ethical hackers. Think of Kali Linux as a giant toolbox filled with every tool you could ever need to test and secure computer systems. It comes preloaded with hundreds of powerful applications, each with its unique purpose in the world of ethical hacking. What makes Kali Linux so special is that it's completely free and open source. This means anyone can download, use, and even modify it. This open nature has fostered a massive and supportive community of security enthusiasts who are always willing to help newcomers. So we've got our toolbox ready. Now let's talk about where we're going to use it. Traditionally, ethical hackers would use Kali Linux on a dedicated computer or a virtual machine. But who wants to be tied down to a desk? With the power of modern smartphones, we can now take our hacking tools wherever we go. That's right, we're going to install Kaylee Linux directly onto your Android phone. Don't worry, we won't be messing with your phone's operating system. We'll be using a clever app called UserLand that creates a safe and isolated environment for running Kali Linux. Imagine this. You're at a coffee shop sipping your latte and you decide to do a little ethical hacking on the side. With Kali Linux on your phone, you can scan for open Wi-Fi networks, test the security of websites, and even practice your penetration testing skills, all while on the go. But before we can start hacking, we need to gather a few essential items. Let's talk about what you'll need. All right, before we get our hands dirty with any actual hacking, we need to gather a few essential items. Don't worry, you won't need a secret lair filled with blinking lights and servers humming in the background, though that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Here's what you'll need. An Android phone. This is our hacking platform. Make sure it's charged up and ready to go. A USB drive, we'll be using this to create a bootable Kali Linux drive. Any size will do, but bigger is always better, right? A computer, we'll need this briefly to format our USB drive. Don't worry, it doesn't matter if it's running Windows, Mac, or even Linux. A USB OTG cable. This will allow us to connect our USB drive to our Android phone, an internet connection. We'll need this to download Kali Linux and other essential files. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Now that we have all our gear assembled, let's prepare our USB drive. Section 5. Prepping your USB drive. A quick formatting guide. Our USB drive is going to be the foundation of our Kali Linux installation, so we need to make sure it's properly formatted and ready to go. Don't worry, this is a quick and easy process. We'll be using a handy tool called Rufus for this task. It's a free and open source program that makes formatting USB drives a breeze. You can download it from the official Rufus website. Once you've downloaded and installed Rufus, plug in your USB drive to your computer. Launch Rufus and select your USB drive from the device drop-down menu. Next, choose ISO image under boot selection and click on the small disk icon next to it. Now navigate to where you downloaded the Kali Linux ISO file and select it. Make sure the partition scheme is set to MBR and the target system is set to BIOS or UEFI CSM. Finally, click on Start and let Rufus do its magic. Once the formatting process is complete, you'll have a bootable Kali Linux USB drive ready to go. Now, let's move on to our Android phone. Section 6. UserLand, your gateway to Linux. With our bootable USB drive ready, it's time to turn our attention to our Android phone. We'll be using a fantastic app called UserLand to install and run Kali Linux. Think of UserLand as a virtual playground where we can safely experiment with different Linux distributions without messing up our phone's software. UserLand is available for free on the Google Play Store. 
Go ahead and download and install it on your Android phone. Once installed, launch the app and you'll be greeted with a simple and intuitive interface. UserLand offers a wide range of Linux distributions to choose from, but we're interested in Kali Linux. Scroll through the list and tap on the Kali Linux icon. You'll then be prompted to choose a username and password for your Kali Linux environment. Choose a secure password that you'll remember, as this will be your key to accessing the world of ethical hacking on your phone. Once you've set your credentials, tap on OK, and UserLand will begin setting up your Kali Linux environment. Section 7. Installing Kali Linux. You're almost a hacker. With UserLand busy setting up our Kali Linux environment, it's time to connect our bootable USB drive to our Android phone. This is where our trusty USB OTG cable comes in. Connect one end of the USB OTG cable to your phone's charging port and the other end to your USB drive. You might see a notification on your phone asking you how you want to use the USB drive. Select Use USB Storage or File Transfer to grant UserLand access to the drive. UserLand will automatically detect the Kali Linux installation files on your USB drive and begin the installation process. This might take a while depending on the speed of your USB drive and your phone's processor, so be patient. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a notification in UserLand indicating that your Kali Linux environment is ready to use. Congratulations, you've successfully installed Kali Linux on your Android phone. Section 8 Exploring the power of Kali's tools. Now for the fun part, exploring the vast array of ethical hacking tools that Kali Linux has to offer. To access your Kali Linux environment, simply launch the UserLand app and tap on the Start button next to your Kali Linux installation. You'll be greeted with a familiar Linux terminal interface. Don't let this intimidate you. This is your command center, where you'll be typing in commands to control Kali Linux and its tools. Kali Linux comes pre-installed with a plethora of tools, each with its unique purpose. Let's take a look at two essential tools that every ethical hacker should be familiar with, Nmap. This powerful network scanner allows you to discover devices connected to a network, identify open ports, and even fingerprint operating systems. It's like having X-ray vision for networks. Metasploit. This is the big leagues of ethical hacking. Metasploit is a framework for developing and executing exploit code against vulnerable systems. It's a powerful tool that should be used with caution and only on systems you have permission to test. These are just two examples of the hundreds of tools available in Kali Linux. I encourage you to explore and experiment with different tools to find what interests you the most. But before you do, let's talk about the importance of ethical hacking guidelines. Section 9. The Ethical Hacker's Oath, Safety and Legality First. With great power comes great responsibility. As ethical hackers, it's crucial that we use our skills responsibly and ethically. Here are some important guidelines to keep in mind. Always obtain permission. Never attempt to access or test systems or networks without explicit permission from the owner. Unauthorized access is illegal and can land you in serious trouble. Respect privacy. When conducting security assessments, be mindful of people's privacy. Avoid accessing or disclosing sensitive information unless absolutely necessary for the test. Disclose vulnerabilities responsibly. If you discover a vulnerability, report it to the vendor or system owner through proper channels. Give them time to fix the issue before disclosing it publicly. Stay up to date. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. Stay informed about the latest threats, vulnerabilities, and ethical hacking techniques. Remember, Ethical hacking is about making the digital world a safer place. By following these guidelines, you can ensure that your actions are legal, ethical, and beneficial to the cybersecurity community. Section 10. Unleash your inner hacker, responsibly. Congratulations, you've made it. You've successfully transformed your Android phone into a powerful ethical hacking tool with Kaylee Linux. Now go forth and explore the exciting world of cybersecurity. Remember to use your newfound skills responsibly and ethically. Always obtain permission before testing systems, respect people's privacy, and disclose vulnerabilities responsibly. The world of cybersecurity needs more ethical hackers like you. By using your skills for good, you can help make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Now go out there and hack the planet. But, you know, ethically. <laughs>